What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. My name's Josh McCann, and in this episode here, we're diving anywhere from 50 to 70 feet. And this is the first day. This ended up being a Monday, and then the next day is a Tuesday. So it's the opening day of grouper season. This here is Colin's first dive. Gets an all right shot on a pretty big snapper. So I watched him take this shot, and I made the decision to go down and try and put another backup shot into it to make sure we could land this fish safely and as you see here go to take the shot completely missed but it is what it is the shot ended up holding and we did secure the fish so can't complain about that overall pretty good first dive if you guys haven't already make sure you subscribe and drop a like and if you have any ideas for future videos or anything like that, make sure to drop a comment or how we could um, make our videos better. Did you hurt? <laughs> I missed. Bro, it's such a bad shot. I, said, but it's <laughs> I completely whiffed. <laughs> So after that dive, we all knew we were in pr for a pretty good day. Colin just took that dive, got a pretty good snapper, so we were kind of keeping our eyes out for some snapper, hogfish, stuff like that. And as you see here, pretty big mangrove, probably about 21, 22 inches. Take the shot. Not too bad. Pretty bad angle, though. And he rips off. There's not mm -hmm. much I can do about it. Probably should have waited for a better shot. But as you can see, he was moving when I first got down there. It is what it is. This here is my next dive. I'm going down. Spot another one doing the same thing. I was going to go down to the bottom, but it was a pretty big snapper, so I decided to follow it. I wasn't moving too fast, so to make sure I didn't spook off the fish. And I watched him go around a couple rocks, kind of let him, hoping to get a better shot. And there, he didn't give me a great shot or anything, but I saw him going to this next rock, and I knew where he was going. I took the shot. Ended up being a pretty good holding shot. I thought he was going to get sharked. We saw a couple sharks already, so... thought I was going to lose this fish, but as you see... That con right here goes down. Make sure to secure my fish. No sharks on it. Couldn't have gone better. I mean, I wish I could have secured it on my first dive, but... I had already chased him pretty far. So, overall, no complaints. Got a pretty good mangrove snapper in the boat. That's my first fish. Great start to a great day. As you see here, kind of slowed down my hunting technique. I'm kind of just slowly moving around, laying there, grunting, doing all sorts of stuff. But as you see, there's not too much going on, so we're about to change spots. So I just decided to lay there and see if I can find some snapper or anything that just is curious. So laying there, saw a couple sharks already on this dive, and I knew I needed to stun this hogfish. Gave me a really easy shot, so I wasn't too worried about it. Killed him first shot, so grabbed him, went up. No worries, no sharks, nothing like that. I mean, he came towards me, but I already had the fish in my hands, so I wasn't too concerned about it. So after that, we changed spots. Colin and I took a couple dives already. We're checking out the area. We found a pretty big rock, as you'll see right there, right in front of me. Big rock, saw a couple big mangroves on it, so I just decided to go lay out in the open away from it, hide behind some bushes and stuff. And as you see here, lay there, grunt, and really nice mangrove comes off the other side of the rock, just curious to what's happening. <laughs> and gives me a pretty good shot as he's going away. Make sure to go secure the fish because I've seen a couple sharks on this spot already. And it's actually a pretty big mangrove. I think it ended up being 23, 23 and a half inches. And as you see right there, shark. And that's why I always make sure to grab my fish before I head up. Because if I would have left the fish there, the shark probably would have ended up grabbing it. Because it was just sitting on top of the rock. So, always a good idea to grab the fish. Freaking monster, dude. 
So after that dive, Colin took the next dive trying to get another snapper, and we also ended up seeing a couple black grouper on this rock, but neither of them ended up being legal. He spotted two pretty big mangroves right there. As you can see, they both just slide up under the rock, so he decides he's going to go down to the bottom and crawl over to the edge of the rock and grunt and try and attract one out. So taking his time, just moving along slowly and grunting, hoping that they'll just poke their head out and as you see here in just a second one decides to show his face takes a shot stones it perfectly but it's the wrong fish it's a smaller snapper he didn't think it was a small snapper he thought it was one of the big ones that he saw back under there and as he's coming up i make sure to go down I'm just gonna go help him out and as you see the shark got pretty curious and decided to follow him up, give him a poke in the tail, and that was the last of them, so we decided to move spots because we really didn't really see anything else there. So this here is a third person clip, and it's Colin following me down on a barge that we dive in about 78 feet of water. So I'm going down to the bottom. Colin takes a dive. He's following me down. I didn't really even know he was going to follow me on this one. My GoPro stopped recording two dives before this, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going down. We knew there was some pretty good snapper up under there and stuff like that. So checking it out. There's a couple Goliath grouper and stuff like that. So Colin was just coming down as a buddy to make sure I secured the fish if I shot it or just to watch and make sure I was all right. So going down take a while to get down there because i'm just not trying to spook anything off and as you see just laying there looking around and i start extending the gun up under there snapper gives me a pretty good shot i take it and that fish freaks out goes out to the right so i know i could pull him out and there he is pretty big mangrove snapper he tried to go back up under there and Call make sure to secure this fish as I'm headed up. Pretty good teamwork, if I had to say. And um, couldn't ask for a better dive right there. I mean, overall, just great teamwork. Had a couple more divers at the top, so we weren't too worried about, oh, who's going to make it, who's not, whatever. As you see, they were kind of watching us. So I get up to the surface, Colin gets up to the surface. Got a pretty good snapper. Cool buddy dive. Awesome clip. So this here is kind of the same deal. I'm going down and I'm on top of the barge right now going down the side. We're a little bit farther down now. Um, I knew there's another pocket up under the side so I go down. Notoriously there's a pretty big snapper up under this wreck so go sideways push my head up under there and see some decent ones and they do look a lot bigger when you look up under there but this one gives me a pretty good shot take the shot and he didn't give me any problems pulling him out start pulling him out not the best shot but it was a pretty good holding shot didn't rip off or any of that and as you see Collins there just to help we uh Secured some pretty decent fish off this wreck this day, but we weren't seeing anything else after this. So we decided to pack up and go to a different spot. Not too bad. So this is our last spot on day one. And I'm going down and just checking the area out. We knew this was a good spot for Gat Grouper. They were in season the next day, so we wanted to make sure they were still here before the opening day. And we wanted to be able to secure one pretty quick. So I'm going down, just checking the area out. Right there, pretty big red grouper. I definitely would have secured this fish. I should have shot him, but I decided to try and get greedy and line up a snapper and the red grouper. Somehow I didn't get the grouper. I just got two snapper. I let the smaller snapper go, but if you pay attention later on in the video, that ledge that I just grabbed the snapper out of, I shoot a pretty good gag, so 
can't complain about checking this spot. Not a bad idea. So Ben and I were buddy diving on a new spot. It's day two. We we're looking for gags, but I just wasn't seeing much at all. Hogfish gave me a pretty good shot, decided to shoot him, and I should have grabbed the shaft there. He went up under this bridge span. Um, there was a Goliath group under there. I was kind of worried about it getting eaten, but no worries. I did secure the fish. Couldn't complain about that dive, but I wanted to shoot a gag, so I kept moving on after this. So this clip here is a video of Colin. He already shot this gag and he's going down to retrieve it. Right there you can see he's got it already up under the bridge span. Him and Gabe were buddy diving on another one and sadly we lost the clip for, of him actually shooting this fish up under there but we did still get this video of him securing it. It's pretty cool just seeing how hard you have to pull on these fish and how powerful they are. So he's pulling this fish out finally backs his way out of there with the fish. We're only in about 40 something feet of water so nothing too crazy and as you see here finally gets that fish out. Gabe's right there making sure he's alright and overall pretty good dive. Sadly we don't have the other clip but pretty cool dive. So this clip here is me. I'm back down on the bottom. I'm on another bridge span. I already checked up under it. There wasn't any gags, but I saw a couple pretty good snapper up under there. So I decided to go lay out on the outside and just wait. <laughs> Try and pick out a big one coming out from underside of the uh, bridge span. And as you see here, just laying there grunting. And he kind of just waited and reacted to what I was doing. As you see right there, gave me a pretty good shot, took it. And I should have grabbed my line quicker than I did because it took us probably a solid 25 minutes just to get my shaft and the fish. We ended up cutting the line and somehow the snapper got tangled and just stayed on the line. But I don't have the clips of that. I think it ended up being about a 22 inch snapper. So this clip here is me diving the same ledge that I shot that snapper on earlier in the video. And as you see here, I go out probably 20, 25 feet out into the sand because I knew there was gags up under that ledge. So taking my time, just slowly swimming over to the ledge, being prepared if I see any out in the open. Didn't see any out in the open, so I knew they were up under this ledge. And a good tip is always make sure you have your gun ready as soon as you look up under this ledge. I'm ready. I saw that gag right there. I knew he wasn't legal and I saw that other one. He wasn't facing me. Got a pretty good shot on him. Pull him out and stone dead. I think he ended up being 28, 29 inches. Collins grouper was a little bit bigger. I think it ended up being 31 inches but can't complain. First gag of gag season for me so great fish. Got a nice buddy dive with Gabe so can't complain. So after that successful dive, we traded spots, went to a different spot. This is an old shrimp boat. It's kind of pretty much shambles at this point. And I've already been down here for a while. I'm about to head up and I take one last look into this little wreck thing under me. And I spot a pretty good gag. He, uh, he didn't want to move. I thought he was going to spook out instantly, but he didn't. And a decent shot on him. I wasn't worried about it ripping off. I just wanted to secure the fish. Colin went down and got this fish for me. I think it ended up being about another 27, 28 inch gag. So, not too bad. I didn't secure him with a safe dive, but he was up under stuff, so I wasn't worried about him getting eaten or anything. Woo! I got a good one. He's stuck. So after that dive, we didn't really see anything else. It was kind of my last dive on that spot anyways. So I go down, spot that pretty decent hogfish, and 
I wasn't really on the ledge, so I decided I was going to take the shot. Hogfish is a really nice fish to eat, so I wasn't too concerned about spooking gags or anything because its food value is up there. So, made sure to go secure this fish because it was towards the beginning of my dive. He went up in that hole, so it would have costed me another five or six minutes to go breathe up and come back down and pull him out. But we didn't see any gags on this ledge, so we decided to move back to this hole. So we changed spots, we're now about 55 feet I would like to say, and Ben already went down, got a shot on a, I think it was a snapper here, and I go down, pull the shaft out, it takes me a while because it's all the way up under cheese rock, which is what we call this stuff, it's just holes and big ledges and stuff like that, so I'm pulling the shaft out, and as you see, taking my time, just working on this, and when I turn around, Pretty good hogfish right there. Definitely should have shot him. I uh, also saw that gag out in the distance, but I, I didn't have enough time to chase him. Completely missed that shot. I was pretty mad about that one, but at least I did get a shaft out for Ben, so I can't complain. And as you see right here, I'm going back down, and I'm right on top of this hogfish again. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same one. It looks a little bit smaller, but it was... I think a 15 inch hogfish so not too bad and kind of a weird angle to take a shot on a fish just under you but I did secure this fish so um, not too bad just another hogfish pretty good food value so no complaints about this one pretty good dive and after this you'll see we got a pretty cool clip coming up here So this dive here is Colin coming up from a pretty long dive and I saw that he shot, the viz was pretty good, I could see on the bottom and I didn't know what he shot or what was going on down there so I made sure to go down I was going down to secure his fish but as you see here I uh, got distracted because I saw that hogfish, it catches my eye. I turn go to take a shot and as you see he's already got a spear shaft rip through him so somebody had already missed him and well they hit him and it ripped off but got a good stone shot on him he wasn't going anywhere so I decided I had enough time to go try and secure Collins fish I didn't even know what he had at this point still so go over there I was just gonna tug on the line see if it come out and it did so I had plenty of time to take care of it, made sure to grab the mono still so I didn't grab the shaft because if you grab the shaft it can rip the fish off if it's not the best shot and I didn't really get a good look at his fish so as I'm coming up you can hear Colin's excited so not a bad dive, secured two pretty big hogfish for our coast, pretty cool dive there. <laughs> So after Gabe secured that gag, we are all pretty excited. This is a dive Colin took on this ledge. This ended up being our last dive of the day. He missed a pretty decent snapper, and as you can see, there's still some gags around, but nothing was really too big. A couple of them were undersized and all that, so we kind of weren't too concerned about taking any more gags. But... Not a bad day, got some nice gags, got some nice hogfish, some nice snapper. Overall, pretty epic weekend. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, catch you guys in the next one.